A microbial fuel cell or biological fuel cell is a bioelectrochemical system that drives a current by using bacteria and mimicking bacterial interactions found in nature. MFCs can be grouped into two general categories, those that use a mediator and those that are mediator-less. The first MFCs, demonstrated in the early 20th century, used a mediator, a chemical that transfers electrons from the bacteria in the cell to the anode. Mediator-less MFCs are a more recent development dating to the 1970s. In this type of MFC the bacteria typically have electrochemically active redox proteins such as cytochromes on their outer membrane that can transfer electrons directly to the anode. Since the turn of the 21st century MFCs have started to find a commercial use in the treatment of wastewater. History the idea of using microbial cells in an attempt to produce electricity was first conceived in the early 20th century. M. Potter was the first to perform work on the subject in 1911. A professor of botany at the University of Durham, Potter managed to generate electricity from E. coli, but the work was not to receive any major coverage. In 1931, however, Barnett Cohen drew more attention to the area when he created a number of microbial half-fuel cells that, when connected in series, were capable of producing over 35 volts, though only with a current of 2 milliamps. More work on the subject came with a study by Del Duca al., who used hydrogen produced by the fermentation of glucose by Clostridium butyricum as the reactant at the anode of a hydrogen and air fuel cell. Though the cell functioned, it was found to be unreliable owing to the unstable nature of hydrogen production by the microorganisms. Although this issue was later resolved in work by Suzuki A. L. in 1976 the current design concept of an MFC came into existence a year later with work once again by Suzuki. By the time of Suzuki a Euro unregistered trademark S work in the late 1970s, little was understood about how microbial fuel cells functioned. However, the idea was picked up and studied later in more detail first by M. J. Allen and then later by H. Peter Bonetto both from King's College London. People saw the fuel cell as a possible method for the generation of electricity for developing countries. His work, starting in the early 1980s, helped build an understanding of how fuel cells operate, and until his retirement, he was seen by many as the foremost authority on the subject. It is now known that electricity can be produced directly from the degradation of organic matter in a microbial fuel cell. Like a normal fuel cell, an MFC is both an anode and a cathode chamber. The anoxic anode chamber is connected internally to the cathode chamber via an ion exchange membrane with the circuit completed by an external wire. In May 2007, the University of Queensland, Australia completed its prototype MFC as a cooperative effort with Foster's Brewing. The prototype, a 10L design, converts brewery wastewater into carbon dioxide, clean water, and electricity. With the prototype proven successful, plans are in effect to produce a 660-gallon version for the brewery, which is estimated to produce 2 kilowatts of power. While this is a small amount of power, the production of clean water is of utmost importance to Australia, for which drought is a constant threat. Types equals Definition equals, A microbial fuel cell is a device that converts chemical energy to electrical energy by the catalytic reaction of microorganisms. A typical microbial fuel cell consists of anode and cathode compartments separated by a cation-specific membrane. In the anode compartment, Fuel is oxidized by microorganisms, generating CO2, electrons and protons. Electrons are transferred to the cathode compartment through an external electric circuit, while protons are transferred to the cathode compartment through the membrane. Electrons and protons are consumed in the cathode compartment, combining with oxygen to form water. More broadly, there are two types of microbial fuel cell mediator and mediator less microbial fuel cells equals mediator microbial fuel cell equals most of the microbial cells are electrochemically inactive the electron transferred from microbial cells to the electrode is facilitated by mediators such as thinine methyl viologen methyl blue humic acid and neutral red most of the mediators available are expensive and toxic 
equals mediator free microbial fuel cell equals mediator free microbial fuel cells do not require a mediator but use electrochemically active bacteria to transfer electrons to the electrode among the electrochemically active bacteria are Schoenella putrefaciens, Eremonas hydrophila, and others. Some bacteria, which have pili on their external membrane, are able to transfer their electron production via these pili. Mediator-less MFCs are a more recent area of research and, due to this, factors that affect optimum efficiency, such as the strain of bacteria used in the system, type of ion exchange membrane, and system conditions are not particularly well understood. Mediator-less microbial fuel cells can, besides running on wastewater, also derive energy directly from certain plants. This configuration is known as a plant microbial fuel cell. Possible plants include reed sweetgrass, cordgrass, rice, tomatoes, lupins, and algae. Given that the power is thus derived from living plants, this variant can provide additional ecological advantages equals microbial electrolysis cell equals a variation of the mediator less mfc is the microbial electrolysis cells whilst mfc's produce electric current by the bacterial decomposition of organic compounds in water mecs partially reverse the process to generate hydrogen or methane by applying a voltage to bacteria to supplement the voltage generated by the microbial decomposition of organics sufficiently lead to the electrolysis of water or the production of methane a complete reversal of the mfc principle is found in microbial electrosynthesis in which carbon dioxide is reduced by bacteria using an external electric current to form multicarbon organic compounds. Equals soil-based microbial fuel cell equals. Soil-based microbial fuel cells adhere to the same basic MFC principles as described above, whereby soil acts as the nutrient-rich anodic media, the inoculum, and the proton exchange membrane. The anode is placed at a certain depth within the soil, while the cathode rests on top the soil and is exposed to the oxygen in the air above it. Soils are naturally teeming with a diverse consortium of microbes, including the electrogenic microbes needed for MFCs, and are full of complex sugars and other nutrients that have accumulated over millions of years of plant and animal material decay. Moreover, the aerobic microbes present in the soil act as an oxygen filter, much like the expensive PEM materials used in laboratory MFC systems, which cause the redox potential of the soil to decrease with greater depth. Soil-based MFCs are becoming popular educational tools for science classrooms. Sediment microbial fuel cells application for wastewater treatment is a relatively new field. SMFCs with simple structures can generate electrical energy while decontaminating wastewater. Most SMFCs used for wastewater treatment contain plants to mimic constructed wetlands. Both synthetic and real wastewaters have been used as substrates in SMFCs that achieved satisfactory performance in organic removal. SMFC tests have reached more than 150 L. In 2015 researchers announced an SMFC application that extracts energy and charges a battery. Salts found in the waste dissociates into positively and negatively charged ions in water, and move and adhere to the respective negative and positive electrodes, charging the battery and making it possible to remove the salt affecting microbial capacitive desalination. The microbes produce more energy than is required for the desalination process. Equals phototrophic biofilm microbial fuel cell equals Phototrophic biofilm MFCs are the ones that make use of anode with a phototrophic biofilm containing photosynthetic microorganism like chlorophyta, cyanophyta, etc., since they could carry out photosynthesis and thus they act as both producers of organic metabolites and also as electron donors. A study conducted by Strick A.R. reveals that PBMFCs yield one of the highest power densities and, therefore, show promise in practical applications. Researchers face difficulties in increasing their power density and long-term performance so as to obtain a cost-effective MFC. The subcategory of phototrophic microbial fuel cells that use purely oxygenic photosynthetic material at the anode are sometimes called biological photovoltaic systems. Equals nanoporous membrane microbial fuel cells equals 
the United States Naval Research Laboratory developed the nanoporous membrane microbial fuel cells which operate the same as most MFCs, but use a non-PEM to generate passive diffusion within the cell. The membrane used instead is a non-porous polymer filter which generates comparable power densities as NAFEN while remaining more durable than NAFEN. Porous membranes allow passive diffusion thereby reducing the necessary power supplied to the MFC in order to keep the PEM active and increasing the total output of energy from the cell. MFCs that do not use a membrane can deploy anaerobic bacteria in aerobic environments however, membrane-less MFCs will experience cathode contamination by the indigenous bacteria and the power supplying microbe. The novel passive diffusion of nanoporous membranes can achieve the benefits of a membrane-less MFC without worry of cathode contamination. Nanoporous membranes are also 11 times cheaper than Nathan Nathan 117, 22 cents per centimeter 2 versus polycarbonate.